Good morning, YouTubers, followers. It's Sunday morning here in Vancouver. Val in Vancouver here again. Uh, my throat's getting a little bit better today. I'm going to do a big five cup pour today on a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. I <laughs> ran out of gloves and didn't realize it, but that's okay. Everything's washable. So the colors I'm using today are the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Titanium White. So I'm not going to be putting any um, silicone or anything in that. This one is the um, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. So it's actually mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water right now. And uh, then I have the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Deep Yellow and the Artist Loft Light Magenta, also mixed with Floetrol and water. And then the Liquitex Basics Payne's Gray, also mixed, uh, mixed with Floetrol and water. And I know some people who use Floetrol don't use silicone because they seem to get cells from the flow troll apparently, but I'm going to put some flow troll just in the colors, not in the white. I'm just going to put a couple drops, maybe three in these ones that are, oops, didn't mean to do that one. Oh, that's okay, actually. Um, anyways, in these ones that are a little bit more full, I'm going to put three drops in there. These little cups I'm using are four ounces each, so <clears throat> let me just give those a little stir. Get that oil mixed in. Very full cups. I just want to mix that in thoroughly so I don't get any big blobs of cell oil or anything on the canvas when I'm ready to pour. So I am going to be putting them into some plastic bigger cups in, into layers. So let's give this one a stir. I got these, this color combination from someone on the, uh, it was either the um, Acrylic Pouring for Fun group on Facebook or the uh, Judy, Julie Cutts book. Uh, Facebook group of pouring your heart out. Um, the person I'm, she may have posted on both, and I can't remember her name. I do apologize, but she'd done a wonderful uh, round painting pouring with these five colors, and I thought it was gorgeous because it yeah it just was gorgeous. So I'm going to uh, duplicate those colors, but not the same technique she necessarily used. So and I've never done this many flip pours, flip cups in one. I can't just flip the canvas, canvas over this time and uh, put the cup on and then flip the canvas back over while holding the cup. So this is going to be interesting for sure. Hopefully I won't lose my grip and splatter all over the place. Okay, <clears throat> you can see that there is some color on the edges of these cups, but that's okay. It's not, it's dry and it's not going to interfere with the colors I'm going to be pouring into them. So I'm not sure how many layers I'll get into each cup. These are big cups, but didn't know if these definitely wouldn't using these ones again definitely wouldn't work so I think about spaced out like that should work and I think I'll start with a little bit of the titanium white in each one I'm hoping to get two to three layers in each cup with each color but I may not be able to two I should be able to get though for sure and that should do some pretty Awesome stuff. Let me just catch that so it doesn't get wasted. Now, like I said, these cups are really full. I'm just going to give it another stir because I can see a little bit of the silicone still sitting on the surface. Okay, now I'll go on to the deep yellow. I think this is going to be pretty cool. Oops, I might have been using too much yellow there if I might want to get two layers out of this. But that's okay. <clears throat> I could always quickly mix up. Well, this one's just a pour. I don't even have to mix it, so I could actually quickly pour some more if I need it. Okay, now we'll use that light magenta. Let's see if I can squeeze this a little bit to make it pour a little bit easier. Okay, 
Okay, and then now the paint's gray. <clears throat> Again, I'm just going to give this a bit more of a stir because I can see some of the oil sitting on top. Okay, back to the white. For the moment, just put a bit more in here because I think we're going to need more. <clears throat> okay, rather than just put more in the cup, I can just gonna pour straight from the bottle. Okay. <clears throat> Should be okay for the white. Now back to the dioxin and purple. Definitely don't want to waste any of this paint. Get as much of as I can. The splotches that are dropping onto the canvas don't matter, they're going to be blended in when I flip and pour, so not a big deal. <clears throat> okay, and off the rest of the yellow, and again, since this one is already mixed, I can add more to it if I need to. I like what's happening in some of these cups already. Pretty awesome. You can start to see some cells coming up inside the cups, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to add a tiny bit more yellow to this one and then more yellow to that one. These don't look like they're all the level, same level, but that's okay. All right, now back to the light magenta. <clears throat> and I think when I do my flips, I'm going to do them at different uh, ends of the or sides of the canvas. So, for example, the first one I'm going to put up towards the camera. The second one I'm going to put up down towards me, and then keep alternating them like that. <clears throat> Just to give it more variety so that everything doesn't start at the same in the same direction. I'm just a person who doesn't really go for the normal linear stuff. Alright, one more to go. Haynes Gray coming up. We didn't save quite enough of this, but it's a dark color and I don't want it to overwhelm anyways, so. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Got a bit of a cloudy day out there again today in Vancouver. Not surprising this time of year, but I feel like spring is definitely on the way. <clears throat> okay, we are done with the colors. So let me move that one out of the way a bit. Okay, so let me grab some paper towels, just in case. <clears throat> Before I start doing my actual flips, I want to show you that pour from yesterday that I did. Um, it's almost dry, not 100% dry yet, but this is the one with the uh, silicone on the strings that I did from yesterday. So it's dried pretty fantastically. These cells here definitely morphed quite hugely, and I love these here. I still don't know whether they're sort of delicately flowers or science fiction worms, but either way, I do love how it's turned out. Like I said, it's not 100% dry now, but it's pretty close <clears throat> to being dry. 
right, not to be cured. Everything takes a couple of weeks to be cured. All right, so let's just move these over here. I don't knock them over in my eagerness to flip. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about those. Ready? Oh, look at that. See? Told you. Uh-oh. That's going to get that there so it doesn't go too far. Ugh, didn't want that to run off so quickly, but that's all right. <clears throat> okay. Next one down here. Next one up here. That one was better. Next one down here. And last one up here. All right, we're going to give all those a minute to... I'm just going to move this over a bit. <clears throat> so it doesn't keep running off the side. We're going to give all those a minute to drop down. I might actually poke a hole in the bottom of the cup. I've done that before. And uh, I like how it kind of pours out differently that way. Um, let me just see what did I use before. A needle, I believe. <clears throat> Not sure. I might have just been a paper clip. Okay. Not sure what I used before. So, oh yeah, I just used a push pin. Let me just grab my push pins. <clears throat> Bought a whole bunch of new ones, good to go. Oh, there they are. Right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, these are nice long pins too, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to poke a hole. Oh, if I can. Tough plastic. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I'm pretty strong, but apparently that is very tough plastic. <clears throat> or else these are dull pins, which does happen sometimes. No big deal. We just produced a slightly different effect. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to tip and drag it this way. Woohoo! Let's cover those corners. Look at that. So pretty. Okay. <clears throat> this one is gonna I'm gonna do this one next because these ones are gonna be a little bit more awkward. So I'm gonna try this one next. There we go. And this one. Corner covered. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this around so I can flip the other two in a more reasonably way. These canvases are from Michaels. I think they're just the artist level one, but they definitely, these longer ones are tending to sag here in the middle, which is making the paint flow in that direction. Not necessarily a bad thing, but. <clears throat> Okay, just give me one second here. Just need a piece of cardboard. I want a corner catcher. I had some cardboard sitting around there. It's okay. Just gonna cut a small piece to use for a corner catcher. I don't want to lose all this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I'm going to start coming down towards this corner first. Get my corner catchy, catcher ready. It's just a piece of folded cardboard, as you can see. So I'm just going to start tipping this way a little bit. Back and forth, though, because I don't want to look at the cells already. Holy mackerel. I don't want to lose too much there. Wow. Okay. And I didn't even have to, I'm just going to blot that one because it already went over on its own. <clears throat> okay. Move this up here for a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess sometimes when I talk too much, my throat gets a bit froggier. So I'm going to try and move this or turn this around so I can flip the other direction. Ooh, it's heavy on that side now where all the paint is ah, gone. I just dripped that on the floor. Wow. Very heavy there. <clears throat> With all that paint on there. All right. Let's do this corner. Probably don't need the corner catcher. It's okay to let it run off, and I will eventually, but I want to 
get some there first. You can see this okay. <clears throat> Just gotta get it to run over the side just a little bit more. I'm leaving the corner catch in there mostly just to protect my hands a little bit so they don't get completely covered in paint, even though it will wash off pretty easy. <clears throat> now I'll do this side here. <clears throat> Again, I do apologize for my <clears throat> froggy voice. Okay. Let's get this moving back a little bit. Okay, corner catcher off. Just leave that there. Be right back. I'm just going to wash off my hands a bit. So that's looking pretty awesome. It's going to give it a chance to settle here. And there is still a fair amount of large amount of paint on the uh, surface. So I'm just going to look at it for a second and see about maybe tipping it a bit more, getting some more paint off. <clears throat> Okay, that's looking pretty awesome though. Let's give it a torch. I just actually, before I do that, I'm just going to pick it up. I want to feel how heavy it is. Well, actually, no, I think it's good. I think I've got a, most of the amount of paint off that I need to. Okay, let's give it a little torch and see what happens. Just going to move this up a bit for you so you can see it better. A little bit out of the frame. Oops, sorry, back down, I guess, is actually what I want to do with it. There you go. <clears throat> my light right now is making, i got to change my lighting in my dining room and stuff. Maybe get some other things to make this because it's making it look sort of orangey and stuff, but it's not. So let's get a little torch, get all the air bubbles out, probably bring up some more cells. This is looking pretty cool though. I like it. As normal, I didn't really keep any straight lines in here but that's okay like I said I'm not a straight line kind of person okay that looks pretty awesome I'm liking that a lot I don't want to pick it up to bring uh, in for a close-up so I'm just gonna bring my camera down so you can see but once again I just want to show you inside the cups is always pretty cool too I wish I could get them out like that so that they would be some kind of art that I could Get out of the cups in the design they are in the cups <clears throat> just showing you because i think they're pretty cool this one yeah i like this one a lot sorry it's a little bit hard to tell because of course you're looking down into a dark cup but i think they're cool i just wanted to show you really quickly okay let me just bring you down to get close-ups this and this. <clears throat> so, let's look here. so here we are at the far end. I'll pull back a bit so you can see all of it actually in one go. So yeah, it's pretty awesome I think. I'm going to bring in close and start you off looking at this end so you can see some of the cell work. I really like this here. This is pretty. And same with up here. I really like this here too very very pretty really loving all the cells and the unusual shapes of them in here some of that might be and my paints might not have been my mixtures might not have been a hundred percent the same because it's I found it very hard to get the um, Floetrol water paint mix equal to the ready-made picks paint mixes just uh, the ready-made paints are quite thin 
and I really do like them so I worked hard to get the other ones as thin as consistently the same as I could but um, <clears throat> they may not have been exact of course but yeah this is pretty amazing sometimes it's tempting to look at these and go oh you know what else could I do with it but I think I'm just gonna leave this one because I really do like it so I'm trying to give you the best shots I can here but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe. I love it that people are starting to subscribe to my channel. And of course, click on the little bell notification so that you will be notified whenever I upload another video. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.